I wanted to talk to you about The Voice just a little bit, if the that's voice? okay. Yeah. You mean American Idol? American Idol, Idol. yeah. This is I mean, I did both, but... You did both. Bo so you did writing on The Voice, though, right? You wrote songs for the artists for them or helped coach that them? That was American Idol. Okay, American Idol. Okay. What was that like for you? Um, is that a reality show? No, like, um, kind of? American Idol taught me a lot. Like, okay. um, the efficiency, I mean, just the efficiency. Um, understanding that I got the opportunity to do that um, the first time with Jimmy Iovine, right? And so... We had an all-star cast, myself, Rodney Jerkins, Ron Fair, um, Jim Jones, a couple other people, mm -hmm. and Dallas as well, actually. Ah. And what I learned really in particularly about that is what it really means to do artist development. Like, you may not like it in a trade show thing, like, in, like how it moves or whatever, or you may love it. But what I realized is a couple things that I got from that is that Music people and music and musicians need the ability to redeem themselves. Okay. Um, and sports, once again, I'll get back to sports. <laughs> you make a bad play, you get to play next week. They don't, you know, it's like we in our industry, someone has a bad showcase, they, they start ghosting you on the phone. Yeah. Like they thought you were great, you fuck up, yeah. something goes bad, and now you can't get anybody from your team on the phone. They just completely disappear <laughs> on you. Hurts my heart. And you're and you're you're gone as far as a record label. And I realized that what a kid does on a Monday, mm -hmm. and through mentorship and, and development, they could tank on a Monday. And on a Tuesday, they could look like they're shot out of a cannon. Right. By having people put put love into them and put like just build them back up and you're going because the thing about American Idol everybody can sing so you're dealing with people that can that sing can, right. that's the price of entry so mm -hmm. I learned that um, that artist development is really key because when I watched Jimmy Iovine up close what his impact was on the kids two out and two and a two hour increment they could have 10 minutes with him and they'd be a completely different artist in 10 that's minutes. That's amazing. You know, and it's just Some like, help. and I was like, well, that's why he is who he is, right? right? And right. The then I realized, like, all the artists that were at Interscope, none of them were probably getting that. You know, and you're like, he's doing this for television, but you're like... Not I, helping I, I, your artist like, over I, here. I mean, the, the, the ones that, you know, that you may know or the popular ones or whatever the situation is, that might be Gwen and, and Dre and Eminem right. and... You know, and, right. and will I am, and that might be their reality. But you have a hundred artists. If if all of them get that opportunity, you know, you're gonna get more more stuff. So I um I try to make sure that I, I want to make sure that artists get opportunities to redeem themselves. That's nice. Within a company, like whatever yeah. you do in front of the fans is what you do in front of the fans. But the fans are more forgiving than the industry itself. Yes. They'll lock you out just because you know. <laughs> so they won't call you back. They'll never call you back again. That's so sad. Yeah. <laughs>